What's up guys, it's Zemo Styles again. Um, this video I'm going to be talking about gear, keybinds, rotation, a few macros. Um, maybe the macros. <laughs> okay guys, poison's about to run out, so I might as well show you guys that first. Now I got I got macros for these poisons, I'll show you right here. I'll, I'll link the macros um, on the forums, I'll give you a link to the forums in the comments below, I mean the info, sorry. Where, sorry, I gotta find this somewhere. Okay, first we got the deadly poison, which is right here. You're gonna want shots, um, the number, the number keybind, then show to tip deadly poison slash use deadly poison slash use um, big brackets button colon one and brackets sixteen. Now, what this does is makes it when you click it with your left mouse button, it applies it to your main hand weapon because it's number 16, it's the 16th slot. Um, if you right click it, you can use it freely on anything. But if you left click it, it goes to the poison, goes to the weapon you click on. Now I'm going to click on wounding as my offhand. Main hand um, will be deadly poison, offhand will be wounding, and my throne will be the mind numbing. Some people say to use instant poison on your throne. That's got a less chance to proc, and I prefer the 50% I get from mind numbing. Now do note that you get extra chance for your poison to proc in the spec, and on top of that you're getting another 6% here. So it saves 50% but it's more like 62%. Now this is great for Phantom Knives because anytime you're mind numbing or you're wounding procs, it adds crippling poison. Um, they changed mutilate so that your poisons don't always proc when you mutilate someone. So now you have to shiv if you want to get a guaranteed crippling which is wounding, because when you wound someone, you'll add crippling to the target because you're going to spec into deadly brew. It's right here guys, third row down to the left. Now, talking about gear. I'm jump jamming and specking for all crit right now, and reforging for all crit, and you're also going to want expertise. Expertise is 18 out of 18 on my character. Um, I'd be comfortable with 20, but honestly, you only need 16 out of 16. Any more than that is a bit overdoing it. Your crit chance, well, I've only got 29% here, but do note I'm an alchemist, guys, so I got enhanced agility from my potion here. This potion lasts through death, can be used in battlegrounds and raided arenas. Um, 80 agility, 2 hours, and it doesn't run out. The potion never runs out, so you never have to remake it. it you can spam it, it's always going to be there, guys. And now I got fear and vengeance as my weapons. You need, you need, you absolutely need a weapon chain, Imperium weapon chain on your offhand weapon, no matter what you are. Um, just get it, guys. Throne weapon. I got a PVE one. I got a slow throne weapon. Um, I'm doing this because it increases my damage, obviously. Plus the PVE stats are quite nice. I like the mastery. Um, on top of expertise, guys, you're gonna want to also stack some spell pen. So you got, you got your expertise 16 out of 16, and then you want your spell pen here. I got 220 spell pen. That's from my enchant and a few spell pen gems. Um, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys, but I'd say 200 spell pen's the best to go, because every class of spell pen now you're not you're not gonna be able to avoid it, guys. And as mutilate, you need that spell pen. Over here, I'll show you why. Venomous Wounds, um, around 4k nature damage every time your bleed ticks, 60% chance. On top of that, all your poisons you have here, like Deadly Poison, are all nature damage fellas. So if you, don't, you do not want them resisting them, and you do not want to them to do to take less damage from their resistances. That's the worst thing you can get. Do note, when you get some mastery up as well, you're going to see here, increases the damage of your poisons by 40%. So if you get the spell pen, and you get some decent amount of mastery up here guys, you're gonna have like going through resilience, okay? Like you don't even have to worry about armor because it's spell damage. So you're gonna be going through resilience and armor in the spec. It's very crucial, okay? That you get a tiny bit of mastery, but most importantly, spell pen and crit, guys. Spell pen and crit. Expertise is a basic thing that you need as a melee. Um, reduces dodge and parry chance. So you're gonna want 16 out of 16. I know I've said it a lot, guys. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to remind you here. Now. On top of that, I've got a 75 stam enchant on my chest and 145 stam on my legs. 
Why do I do this? Most people get the stamina enchant on the chest, but for the leg piece, it grants 55 agility. It may not sound like much, but that's about half as much, if not more than half, attack power than you get from the attack power enchant. On top of that, the agility adds you dodge, adds crit, and the stamina increases your survivability with your recoup. When you get these daggers, guys, if you get them, um, I suggest you do, because they are best in slot right now for rogues, in my opinion. And hell, it's only going to cost you like 10k gold, probably 16k if you have to bribe someone to let you into the raid. The only thing you have to do is pickpocket Hagara, and then you pay 10k gold to the NPC to charge the ring. And no, you can't do this through LFR. You have to do it through normal mode. Um, this trinket, talking about crit, 780 times 788 agility times 10, stacking up to 10 times 10 seconds. Um, this is pretty much a permanent 780 agility enchant. Pretty much. Um, this adds you to about, say you're on 29% crit, you'd be on 32%. Very nice, very very nice trinket, especially for Mutilate. Mutilate's all about constant damage, constant bleeds, constant dots. Um, you can be off the target, I've seen myself go off the target, and they bleed down to 50% purely from my dots, man. So guys, you might want to invest in this trinket and in these two daggers right here. Especially when you get dead in nerves for 7% reduced damage taken, and you get 6% more from your recuperate, you can drop some of your resilience for these items. This is from LFR, yes, LFR, easy to get, just try and grab it as much as quickly as you can guys. Um, it's an easy to do thing, it's easier than Tolbarad if you ask my, for my opinion, it's easier than Barret and Hold, um, get it done. Okay, on top of that, what do we have here? We got Mastery on Enchon on the shoulders, um, Expertise on my neck piece, uh, most of my Mastery I'm keeping. Um, if gear is Mastery, I'd keep it. If it has Hit Rating, I change it to Crit. I get Crit Rating gear mostly. If it's got Haste, I change it to Crit. And you're going to want to cap that Expertise about 8, 16%. Yep, I got the Crit Trinket right here even, instead of the Resilience one. I changed the Crit into Expertise purely because I'm an Expertise fan and it helps you a lot. You might not notice it very much, but it does help you quite a lot, guys. If you ever want to gouge a rogue, and it always dodges, then you're going to want to stack some expertise, because it helps you. Speaking of which, gouge in this spec is almost useless. Um, only ever use it in dire situations. I use it a bit, but it's po pretty pointless when you have bleeds and deadly poison on, because they'll break. Mists of Pandaria, that's all changing, but for now, gouge is useless. You're going to want to use it only to interrupt spell casts. Especially with your when quick kicks on cooldown. Here we got lifeblood. I get this from herbalism. If you don't have herbalism and you're looking for certain professions, I suggest you get herbalism and alchemy. They're pretty quick to level. Um, not many people bought herbalism, so it's easy for you to farm the mats by yourself. Um, unlike mining, where everyone bots and it's impossible to level it up. So lifeblood is 480 haste for 20 seconds, and also it heals you. So you see that? That's a non-crit and it's 2.5k a heal. You add that on top of the mending enchant, and well, you basically got improved recoup on top of that, so you're like a healing bot. And the 480 haste helps a little tiny bit for your um, bleed ticks. It's about 5% haste, um, so it helps your bleed ticks a tiny bit faster. Same thing with your deadly brew, with your poisons, like deadly poison. Um, that's my gear guys, that's basically how I roll. On top of that, I'm going to talk about keybinds now um, in my next video, so hopefully you guys see that, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace guys.